Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be sharing kind of a quick, easy way to decorate for the 4th when you're in a pinch or you're on a budget. Um, sometimes the 4th and holidays just kind of sneak up on us. So these are just some quick, easy, kind of cheap ways to decorate your house indoor and out without going too over the top, spending a lot of money and taking a lot of time out of your day. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video and if you do, don't forget to give it a like. It is pretty windy today, but I wanted to get this video up so that you guys could see it, get some ideas for the fourth. Um, so just kind of bear with me. You can see all of my antiques over here. That is another video that's coming. Don't forget to check that video out as well. Um, but my first little thing that I put up for the fourth were these bunting. So this one and this one are from Hobby Lobby. They were honestly really cheap. They're not the best material. I'm not going to lie. They're kind of more of that silky material if you take care of them they will last if you don't then they won't kind of thing this middle one is i think 25 dollars from lowe's and i will link it down below um so that if you want to run to the store and pick one up you know which one to get or if you want to order it then you can it'll take you right to the link but this one is beautiful this one i actually borrowed from my mom she's had it for years and it has held up great and um, this is just kind of my favorite way to decorate for the fourth i think they're they're beautiful, they're a statement piece, um, and they are super easy to put up. I put mine up with a staple gun just cause it does get pretty windy here. Let me show you from the other side. From the other side, <laughs> when they're not blowing in the wind, they look really pretty. Um, yeah, anyways, I put three on this one just because my space is so big, but um, I have another one of these on the front of the house that I will show you. They're just a really easy way to decorate for the fourth and kind of make a statement without spending a lot of money and time. This little windmill was at Hobby Lobby on sale. I think it was $10. Um, yeah, I think $9.99. Goldie loves this. It was worth every penny. Um, and it's held up really great with our, our wind and our rain. And we've had the sprinklers on a ton since we just planted grass. So it has held up really well. The next area that I decorated was by our chicken coop and my chickens are going crazy because their water is tipped over. <laughs> I need to take care of that. But really quickly, I just put a little flag in my flower pots, my hanging baskets that don't want to stay on their hooks without falling over. These flags I got at Hobby Lobby for, they were on sale, I think like two bucks, honestly. And um, they've held up really well. And it's like one of those things, once again, like you don't have to spend a lot of money and time to decorate for the fourth with when you get little things like this, like the flags. I will get my chicken's water fixed, I promise. <laughs> um, these ones are a little bigger than the ones over by the chicken coop and I think they were just like a dollar more. Um, and especially right now, all of those flags would be on sale for probably even cheaper than what I bought them for. So really good way to decorate. And this is where I put my other bunting. This one is also from Lowe's. It's that same $25 one. That holds up really well. This fills our space perfectly, so it's really a statement piece because it is so big. Um, but once again, just super easy way to decorate for the fourth outside without having to spend a ton of money and time. That's kind of a short, quick little um, tour of how I decorated my outside for 4th of July. I'm going to take you inside now and show you just a couple of places that I put a few little things. I didn't go all out, um, but I still think it looks patriotic and fun, but still cute and cozy. So I will, whoo, it's windy out here today. I will go inside and share with you guys what I put up in my house as well. The first place that I decorated was on these shelves. Um, my personal kind of decorations, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like aesthetic, I guess, is a little bit almost patriotic in itself. So really the only thing that I added to the shelf was this flag from Hobby Lobby. Um, but if you look at my shelves in general, they kind of look, Goldie's awake from her nap. <laughs> they kind of look more patriotic anyways, because I do have a lot of blues um, and reds. So I already have these blue flowers in here. What, baby girl? Want to go in your room? Okay. Um, it made it kind of patriotic already in its own. So I didn't have to add much to that. And I honestly didn't even put anything over on this side because like I said, I already have red right here, white right there, um, kind of neutrals, and then my flag. The next thing that I added were these red striped pillows. Um, this one I keep out all year long and it's kind of a blue stripe. 
So like I was saying before, kind of rolls in perfectly. So this red pillow, um, once again, there's blues there and this red pillow are actually from Christmas. So if you kind of think about what you're buying and when you're buying it, you can kind of get away with reusing them. So this I used for Christmas, then they were in my room on my bed until 4th of July and Memorial Day, and then I pulled them out to use out here. The next place is over on my mantle. I got two 4th of July garlands, and that's all I used to style this. Um, both of these are from Hobby Lobby. I got this kind of rag tie garland that I placed on the actual mantle and then this really pretty ball garland I bunched up under here. The last place that I put any kind of sort of decoration was right here on my big kind of cabinet hutch thing. I'm not sure what you would call that, but um, I put this really pretty USA banner on here. Um, so like I said, when you're kind of standing here, it looks like I really went all out for the 4th of July when really in this space, I only added three things, this pillow, that flag, and this banner. I did grab a cute little America rolling pin to put over here on my chalkboard. Um, and I just added it to what I regularly, regularly <laughs> have on here along with a very old calendar. Um, anyways, I just thought it was kind of cute, simple, little, not too much. The last place that I decorated was my island. Um, if you watch my antique haul video, which you can kind of see poking through right there, um, this is an antique find and the rest is just stuff that I had laying around. Some faux flowers, a dish towel, my rolling pin and a few spoons, and then I added a flag. I think it turned out really pretty. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next one.